state of hockey here in Minnesota, some of the most passionate, rabid hockey fans on earth are right here in this arena tonight. The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. The Wild have won the opening faceoff and take possession here at the start. Slides it over with pace to Hartman. And sends it just out of reach. Taken along the wall by Middleton. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Cuts to the front. Denies him. Hurts, the hold over that save. I mean, he's dialed in and he recognizes where he has to be at the right time. Again, another save. They're like a swarm of bees out here with this pressure. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Pokes it away in his own end. And he takes the feed. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. Well, he's got such a slick set of hands. Oh, a spectacular save right there! Wow! Unbelievable! Oh, oh, Sam Quick is a hiccup there on the board here in this one. That's a dream start, James, and it's one they were looking for. You want to come out, you want to get up front, and you want to dictate pace. One defensive breakdown just leads to another and a huge opportunity for the opposing team, and it winds up in the back of your net. The Wild have dialed up the intensity here quickly in this one, already up by one. You know that the coaching staff would have had a very clear message to the team before this game. Do not give the opponent any life. Do not allow them to feel like they can get a hold of this game. You know how you do that, James? By getting on the board first, early in the opening frame. Takes the feed. They've got numbers here. Gets a glove on it to make the save. Gustafson's gonna hang on for the whistle here. It's been a ho-hum night for him. Well, it really has. He hasn't been tested, but it is a close game, and he's got to come up big. He has to stay dialed in and focused in this one. Couturier swung the draw. Oh, a true warrior to block that. And that's a smart heads-up play by Brodine. Across the line along the left wall. Oh, what a hit against the boards. Executed perfectly, James. I mean, he can't maneuver. He's got nowhere to go. He's lined up, and then he's taken down. Driving right to the front. Here's a blast. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Feeds the puck to Brodine. Here's a shot with the stop. Puck is frozen, and we'll get a face-off. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Minnesota's up one zip. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Minnesota's looking to break out. Duhaime's got it on the offensive end. Let's get the call. Allison's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Minnesota sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. Tries to clear the puck, and the puck is cleared. Well, you can see the entire PK unit. Their heads are on a swivel, straight line skating, and they're able to get that puck, and because they're looking and aware, they're able to find the white ice and get it 200 feet down. Minnesota's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Hartman's been feeling it, James. He got the go-ahead goal, and now the puck's on his stick. Rossi's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Philadelphia's taken possession in their own end. Working to shake the pressure from the defensive zone. And they get the puck out of the zone. I like the aggressive sequence to this PK unit, James. They're all over the puck in straight lines. They're hard and heavy on it. When they get it, they send it 200 feet down the ice. And this kills some valuable time and gets them a line change. Great reach with the poke check. Minnesota's got it along the wall. Poked away by Stahl. Makes 
makes his presence known on the ice. Allison's almost ready to get back on the ice. Considered a win for the penalty killers as the power play fails to execute. Well, the power play had a ton of ozone possession time, but it was all perimeter. They didn't find ways to move the coverage. It was easy as a PK unit to stand in that box formation and not move. You have to find ways to create some motion and pull the coverage outside the dots. Hearts, the star goaltender who backstops his team confidently. Past the midway mark of the frame, Minnesota's ahead 1-0. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Comes up with a big time goal. Players work on this all the time in practice, James. It's about getting position, net front, and then once that puck is coming towards you, you got to get your hands away from the body with great hand-eye coordination. Just get your stick on it. You're not sure where it's going all the time, but this time, it winds up in the back of the net. Minnesota's clearly had a few energy drinks prior to puck drop because they're already up by a pair here in the first. It's always great to see a team come out and play with desperation, not just at the end of the game. There's been urgency to their step and a lot of pace to their play. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Minnesota's holding a noticeable edge in the shot department here in the first, and they lead as a result. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Goudreau. Stopped by the goaltender. There's back-to-back -back saves. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. In the final moments of this period, Minnesota's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Frost's won the draw inside his own end. Quick feed to Farabee. Battling for it along the boards. Here's a short pass to Farabee. Rips it. Oh, he stops it with a glove. Great reflexes there. This is an impressive save right here, James. I mean, there's a ton of net front presence, and so a lot of traffic that he has to battle through to find the puck, and he does, and he makes a nice save. Minnesota's coaches wanted a lot of shots on net, and the team has delivered so far leading late in the first. And that somehow stayed out of the net. Let's it fly! Blocked in traffic. Felino's really laboring out there. Looks like he's going to make it to the bench, but he's struggling to finish this shift. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Atkinson's got the puck in his own zone. Now a quick pass to Allison. Shot! Scores! Rips it upstairs and in! Man, did he ever get that puck up in a hurry. The goaltender can't catch up to it, and it goes bar down and into the net. Some last-second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. And after the draw at center, they've got a hold of the puck. Into the offensive zone. Moves it to Allison. Keeps a hold of it on the play. Quick shot! And with the buzzer, that puts a bow on the first 20 minutes of play. We've got lots more still to come. Second period action next, right here. Look for our food donation boxes located throughout the concourse. Teams are back on the ice. Those squads gliding into position for the start of period number two. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Well, everyone has a 
job and a role to do. And guess what? It's about PK execution right now. They have the one goal lead. Now they're protecting it. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. Well, they earn this a power play, James, through hard work, and it's an opportunity to even the score here. They need to find a way to execute and get back to the even score. And it takes a shot. Way too much congestion blocks that. Gets it out of his own end. Battle along the boards. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Couturier. And it's broken up by a nice defensive use of the stick. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. Philadelphia's got it in the defensive zone. Big hit on the play, and there's the whistle as it looks like the pane of glass is broken. Well, the good thing is, James, that the glass doesn't shatter like it used to, and they can just replace the pane, but they'll have to do that because everything is about safety first. Erickson X ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. And it's a quick pass to Atkinson. Can't maintain possession after that hit. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Quick pass to Atkinson. Oh, what a slick stop by Gustafson. And he wins the post. The Flyers are trying to shrink their deficit in this game. They're playing aggressive in the offensive zone, and they just wire one off the post as they try and claw their way back in. Well, when you're looking for the equalizer, it's tough to take a penalty and play shorthanded, James. you got to find a way to get to even strength so you can generate some offense. A little four-on-four four hockey as both teams step inside the face-off circle. A few ways to play a four-on-four. Four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent, too. Quick pass across to Superello. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Moves it quickly over to Rossi. And that's knocked away by Goldie. Off the mask! Kept out that way! Goaltenders try and make themselves as big as possible, and it usually hits other parts of the body, but this one rattles right off the cage. Couturier's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Philadelphia has won the faceoff deep in their own end. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Philadelphia's got the puck at center. Minnesota's got it in the neutral zone. Philadelphia's got the puck. Great reach with the poke check by Sealer. Grabs possession of the puck. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Erickson X at the faceoff dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Philadelphia's got possession here in their own end. Nice job to escape the zone. Moves the puck. Ten seconds left. From point blank. Tremendous stop by Hart. Oh, that's a piece of it with the glove. Team. The Flyers' PK unit delivers in a big way. Well, this power play unit will not be happy. Not only didn't they execute, but they had a difficult time making even crisp passes and attacking seams. They got to be better. Yeah, here we go. They didn't like that one bit. They didn't like it because it was dangerous, and you can't have that in the game, James. And this fight is sort of a policing, if you will, of the game, and that's why they dropped the glove. him down to the ice and he's going to be the victor in this one the home side is going to gain a lot of adrenaline after that win frustration physicality and that fight says it all all right both teams back at the face-off circle after the dust finally settles on that donny brook kate's wins the face-off knock loose after that hit 
Great pass from off the right side. Gets in front of it. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Hanks is creating a ton of energy out there because of his drive and compete level. I mean, he is off balance, stumbling, and still manages to find the puck and get it to the net. This creates a scoring chance. Yeah, it doesn't go in, but what it does is it creates energy for his entire team as they build momentum. Still lots of time left in the period. Minnesota's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Hartman's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Minnesota's message was clear coming into this one. Lots of shots on net, and they lead here in this second. Hartman's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Takes the feed. Here's a shot. Extended the lead to two here, and they show no signs of slowing down tonight. Well, they're executing their game plan, James. We know how often they've been talking about penetrating the middle of the ice, trying to get shots through to the net. They're doing just that, and they're being rewarded. Centering pass in front, and that doesn't go as it's off a stick. Quick feed to Sanheim. Takes it and looks ahead. Sends the pass in front, and that's stopped. Here's a short pass to Caprizov. Trussled off the puck. Hartman's been so dangerous tonight. He's got two in the game. You know he's looking for the Hattie. Moves it to Middleton. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Rebound control is critical in the game of hockey. Putting it to the corner, and now the offensive player has to pound the puck. Denies that opportunity. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Philadelphia's got control of the puck. Here he is in close. Oh, what a stop with the paddle. Foligno's been slashed. Penalty coming up. Quick pass to Spurgeon. They got a chance to make something happen here on the delayed penalty. Extra attackers out. You can almost hear the size on the bench as that third penalty within the frame has been called here. James, a tough position as they can't get any rhythm going on their bench. this game down a player James and it's a difficult situation and you look at the bench there's more room on it right now but their player was assessed and it's team they can't return yeah a tough loss for the team and, and you just hope that it's not too serious an injury long term and they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end gains the zone through center moves it quickly over to Maroon trying to get it out of danger and the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close quickly and they can corral the puck and just fire it down the ice. Philadelphia's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. And manages to clear the zone. Quick feed to Rossi. They score! Goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Goaltender's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. Minnesota's got to be feeling good about their game tonight. I mean, they've just moved the puck around so effectively. Yeah, they've gotten in the offensive zone because of their speed through the neutral zone. They've gotten good entries, and then their puck possession in the offensive zone. I mean, it's been so difficult to take it away. It's been a string on their stick. They've been evasive, they've been elusive, and they've driven the net when they should have. And we're still only in period number two. Here in the late goings of the period, Minnesota's got a three-goal lead. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Sends the pass over. Off the left wing and into center. Shot! Scores! The captain delivers! And 
they used their speed on this counter attack and gave themselves an odd man advantage here, James. And what they did was they capitalized. They had multiple looks. They could pass it. They could shoot it. Goaltender couldn't figure it out. And it winds up in the back of the net. Minnesota's probably thinking right now, let's just skip the intermission and keep playing the way things are going here, Cheryl. 100%, James. Anytime you have a healthy lead, everyone's playing well and contributing. You don't want it to stop. You don't want to go and sit and wait to come back on the ice. The Flyers gain control of the puck against the wall. Grabbed along the board by Kate. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. And the puck skips away after that move. Atkinson's got a lot of flash to his game, in particular with his hands and the ability to manipulate his opponent, but he gets caught on that one and the puck dies on his stick. There's a collision with some authority. Across the line, down the left wall. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Takes a shot. Great save by Gustafson. Well, this is a really great save, James. I mean, you can see that he's battling for position. You can see him moving up and down as his eyes are trying to track and find the puck. That's outworking your opponent and finding a way to make the save. And there's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. You don't want to go home yet, do you? Third period action still to come. So far. Minnesota's been driving play all game. They sit with a comfortable lead with 20 minutes to go here, and they need to make sure they manage the puck and make smart decisions, and then they can call this one a win. Lots of time left in this period. Too much to not enough. It's 5-1. Here's a shot denied by the goaltender. The Flyers pick up steam and are on the attack. Here's a short pass to Frost. Gustafson's got the puck and hangs on for a whistle here in this third period. Well, he's been one of their best players all night. A reason why they're leading here in the third, James. But it's not just about the save. It's about managing the puck and making the decisions when to hold on. The Flyers win that offensive zone faceoff. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Johansson. He carries the puck up along the wing. Minnesota's offense has been a thing to watch tonight as they lead it big time here early in the third. Philadelphia's won it. Moves the puck across to Konechny. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. The Flyers played along the wing. Tries to the crease. Pass back to the point. Let's it go! And the puck dies with the trapper save. Gustafson's had a solid night between the pipes, James. I mean, he's done everything he could to stop the puck, as indicated by his save percentage, but his team has also been really strong. He's got the confidence of their netminder, and they've created a ton of opportunities. Taken by Felino. From the open ice, they gain the line. Philadelphia's got the puck. Through the neutral zone and along the boards. Here they come. Here we go. You knew that they were going to respond after he got clipped. They have to respond, James. It's the right thing to do. If your star player gets bone crushed or clipped, you have to find a way to answer and respond for him. Well, a 
spirited scrap comes to an end with the takedown. I think he might be relieved as they head to the ice as he was taking a thrashing. <laughs> I think you're right. After a fight, the heart rate is elevated. You're sweating, you're exhausted. And now it's time to cool off, Simmer. Reset your emotions so you can get back out there and play after you sit your five. Power play unit going back to work. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Atkinson. And he slides it quickly to tip it. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Brodine. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Here we go, Puck's in deep. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Off a stick and they can't connect. And that's blocked away. And the puck skips off the glove. And now he moves it quickly to Konechny. Picked up along the wall by Couturier. Goudreau's gained the line and on the attack. Oh, what a bad save by Sandstrom! Erickson X ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Cates has it in their own end. Moves the puck into the attacking area. With possession along the wall. Blocked in front. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. The man advantage is over. Well, there's players on the bench that would kill for that opportunity. Just no urgency whatsoever from that power play unit and didn't generate any momentum. Misses over the net. We got to stop it as the puck sails over the glass. Minnesota showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. Comes in off the wing as both centers were tied up on the draw. Maintains control of the puck. Gains the zone from the right side. Excellent stick work on the play. Snaps it on net. Oh, a clutch save. Can't get it to go. Atkinson's gaining momentum. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Dumps the puck in. Philadelphia's got the puck in the defensive end. Quick pass to Atkinson. Moves the puck down low. And he slides it quickly to Stahl. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Puts it on net. Turns it aside with the glove. What a save from point blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position. Square to the shooter in the slot. And he makes the glove hand save. Minnesota's played one of their best games this season. They continue to dominate in the shot department and lead it here in the third. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Coughs it up on the play. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. Taken along the wall by Addison. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Dumps it in. The Flyers gain possession along the wall. going to have to keep his head up throughout this game. No one liked that play earlier that injured their player. The crowd is frustrated, including the bench. He'll have to be aware when that puck's on his stick. Moves the puck along the half wall. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. Ned is knocked off. We'll get a face-off here. Minnesota's offense has put on a show tonight, and here they are in blowout mode late in the third. Hartman's won it. Puck is grabbed here at center ice by Addison. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Ristolainen's moving the puck through his own zone. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Philadelphia's got possession of the puck. They go on the attack through center. Fires it on net. Off target. Moves it quickly over to Duhane. And as the final seconds tick away, listen to this place recognize a hard-earned victory. Feeds it to Goudreau.
comfortable win. And the fans are getting loud once again to salute the Warriors here, Cheryl. Well, yeah, this is a lot of fun. I mean, this is the connection that you see between a fan base and their team, and it's a tradition, right? You come out on the ice, and you want to salute them and say thank you for providing energy throughout the game. Well, that puts a bow on the night here this evening from all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. See ya.